All right, we're going to be palpating the muscle gastrocnemius. So gastrox has two heads and they're sitting on the posterior aspect of the calf. Now, personally, I like to put my knee up underneath the table because I am going to be sinking into the back of the person's popliteal fossa in their knee. So I'm going to lift up the leg and I put my knee underneath and just rest the foot in here. So as we are palpating for the origin, gastrocnemius is originating on the posterior femur. However, when you go looking for the posterior femoral condyles, you want to go in between the hamstring tendons. So very gently, I'm going to ask him just to bend his leg up kind of right in here. Perfect. So this right here is semitendinosus and on the lateral side is biceps femoris tendons. So I'm going to place one finger in here. We're going to go for the lateral head first. I'm going to soften up and bend in his knee and then try to sink down in towards the back of his femur. And at this point, I don't want him to flex his knee. What I'm actually going to ask him to do is do a little plantar flexion, which means he's just going to push his toes up towards the ceiling and then relax back down at his ankle and then do that again for me. Great. And I can feel the tendon of gastrocnemius on this lateral head originating on that posterior femoral condyle. I'm going to switch hands and I'm basically going to do the exact same procedure. I'm going to be going inside to semitendinosus this time a nice bent knee. I'm going to sink down towards the femur and again I'm going to ask him just to push his toes up good and relax. So I'm now feeling the tendon of the medial head of gastrox on that posterior medial femoral condyle. As we said there's two heads and depending on the person and their genetics you might see different sizes of both the medial and lateral heads or presentations. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get him to try to push with his midfoot up towards the ceiling while I give him some resistance. He's just going to hold that. So we can see right in here the lateral head of gastrox and there's a little bit of a drop off right there. So this is the distal kind of portion of it before it turns into tendon. So we have muscle belly, muscle belly, muscle belly, and then it starts to turn to the Achilles tendon. We'll give him a break. He's going to relax a little bit. We're going to go on to the medial side. He's going to do that again, push up towards the ceiling. Perfect. So again, I can grab this head traditionally a little bit larger. And again, with him, you can see it's a little bit bigger and then it's turning to a muscular tendinous junction around here. So there's the end of his lateral head and around here is the end of the medial head of gastrox. Now that is pretty normal, but the length of gastrox in comparison to the leg may vary from person to person. Like I said, often related to genetics. We're gonna get him to push it a little bit. I'm not gonna resist him as much this time. So you can see that Achilles tendon that's starting to stick up and we're gonna follow that Achilles tendon all the way down until it starts to make attachment on this calcaneus. He's gonna relax for me. And you can again, I'll move that calcaneal tendon back and forth, otherwise known as Achilles tendon. And it starts to insert right here on this portion of the calcaneal tuberosity. So the calcaneal tuberosity being the, basically almost the whole heel. However, the Achilles is going into a posterior superior aspect of it right in this area. So gastrox in this case is primarily is going to be doing plantar flexion at the ankle, but it also assists in flexion of the knee joint. And that's going to conclude our palpation of the muscle gastrocnemius.